This is Sporting Life. Name me a Monday night more alive with possibilities than this one. It's okay. I'll wait. From making a mint to ending up skint, nothing is off limits in festival week. And, naturally, the controversy cauldron is bubbling away. Will whip chat rival super spreader debates or that Elliot mess? It feels like a two to five shot. But we needn't reheat or even retweet that hot potato, especially when you can bet five for two to see whether Nicky's found his Frankel. Yes, it's an outlandish notion, but Constitution Hill left jaws dropping on this day last year, and he stands on the cusp of greatness in the champion. And if the headliners for the purist, day one offers plenty for punters. Fasal Vega, supremely polarising. Willie's unshakable faith makes me very wary about taking him on. But the clumsy high definition is a different matter. If he wins, or even places, I'll be losing. Hold on to your hats for an explosive sporting life arkle. Markets are screaming El Fabiolo and John Bon. But the fiery Dysart Dynamo, he can have something to say. While Cloudy Glen looks a sporting dart in a fiendish Ultima. The presence of at least six plausible winners in a marvellous Merz hurdle makes punting tricky and the Cheltenham crowd will face an even trickier situation if Robbie Dunn, 43 years of age, snags his first festival winner on live Boodle's long shot, Mr Freedom. A mile mission looks a likely ladder to price in the National Hunt chase, but enough wagering chat. The content confetti cannons keep blasting away, but this week's about much more than Moolah. It's about world-class sporting theatre and dreams coming true or being dashed. Now, I wouldn't be one of the misty-eyed crew, but for those of a certain age, heading back to Cheltenham fans' familiar feelings. Brings back memories of a few good lads gone too soon. It makes you wonder how much more March Madness you have left in you. And it also makes you just a little bit scared about what's to come. Not fearful in a traditional sense, but edgy. Edgy in the way you feel at ringside before a big fight. Nervy, nervy like you feel when two hulking rugby packs square off. Jumpy, jumpy in the way you fret about going 0 for 28 on the punt. Or anxious, anxious about explaining why a game that has so much to be proud of isn't too hard on those who play it. Whether you're an owner, trainer, rider, or simply a passionate fan or punter, Cheltenham matters more, simply because the lights shine brightest and the stakes are highest. You'd never work again if you could bottle the giddy passion that fuels this circus. It's ferocious, unforgiving and fantastic. So buckle up, folks. Jump racing comes alive this week. And on this murky Monday night, the possibilities, both great and not so good, are endless. Are you Cheltenham ready? Download the Sporting Life app for the best coverage of the festival, including live race blogs, stable tours, interviews, video previews and expert tipping. 